Hey guys, okay, so I am vlogging on my cell phone, so that's why if it looks a little different than the other video, that is why. Also audio, because on our camera we have like this huge microphone. There we go, that's the word. And this, I have no idea how it's gonna come out. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Nice to see you guys. Um, we are heading out to do a beach meetup. I'm doing a collaboration beach meetup with Chandler Nicole on Instagram. She's a fellow Love Fitness Apparel athlete. She's amazing, love her to death. So we're gonna go out to a place on Oahu called Yokohama Bay. And we're just gonna, there's gonna be like Love Fitness Apparel goodie bags. My friend who does my lashes, she owns her own uh, I, let, I met her through doing eyelashes. She owns her own company and she's got a couple locations. So she's giving a hundred dollar gift cards towards an eyelash set. So insane stuff like, and it's just gonna be fun. Uh, it's kind of sprinkling on the side of the island. So I hope that it's not raining out there. <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog today. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and you guys can subscribe and hang around with me because I got a lot more stuff coming up and I just, I'm always doing something silly, crazy, whatever. So I love having you guys here and enjoy the vlog. Oh my gosh guys big thank you to all the ladies that came out this was so much fun it was so cool got to meet a bunch of local girls doing the exact same thing so we're planning on hopefully doing another one of these let me know in the comment section if you would be interested 
can't wait for the next one hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you guys can subscribe and come back i would love that but okay enjoy the rest of the vlog okay, bye guys so now our schedule this week is going to be a little bit different we're going to be house sitting for some friends and dog sitting so i so we've gone to the grocery store and picked up all of our stuff and a lot of times i will food prep and get everything in my fridge but I'm getting back on track after my last show. I've been a lot more lenient than I ever normally would be. I'm also knowing that I'm gonna be like locking down into some pretty exciting like shows to come up. I wanted to take some time off. I live on the island of Oahu, for those of you who don't know, which Hawaii has some of the most amazing food and a lot of times I don't partake in it. So after show, if I know I'm gonna prep again really soon, I'll kind of take a staycation, enjoy some food, I'll let my body rest a little bit and then I'll just get right back into it. Then I feel mentally and physically refreshed. So I'm ready and I wanna show you guys the grocery haul that I got here because I'm gonna be prepping this and bringing this with me to my friend's house. Um, and then I also have some things that are just in my fridge that I didn't need to purchase that I'm gonna show you guys some of the like little sauces and things that I use in prep, super clean. And um, so let's start with this bag here. And I have to hurry because I don't want this stuff out of the fridge very long. So I bought some cauliflower and I'm gonna take this and a lot of all these veggies, I'm gonna take it, chop them up um, into chunks, throw them in a bowl, pour some olive oil over it. I'll probably then just take some pink salt and pepper and then just like bake all of it. And I've done this a lot and it's just really tasty and it actually makes me like crave the veggies that I'm gonna eat which is great from transitioning back from like eating out at restaurants like pizza and all that stuff to like veggies again because you kind of have to like let your taste buds transition and then we have some butternut squash haven't tried this so I'm going to throw that on there and give that a try um, I have Brussels sprouts I'm a huge fan of Brussels sprouts also love putting some balsamic vinegar on this veggie mix so good and then a sweet onion and what else do we have here okay so this is not going in my mix but i have some zucchini that i'm going to i have a spiralizer i think mine is the veggetti and um so i'm gonna spiralize them i'm gonna season them up i'm gonna saute them in a pan it's not noodles, but it kind of like tricks your brain into thinking you're eating noodles, which is awesome. So for other vegetables that I have, I have a bunch of frozen vegetables. I have frozen broccoli, I have frozen cauliflower rice, I have frozen green beans, and I think I have some frozen Brussels sprouts. So those things are really easy because I just pop those in the microwave, but they're just kind of boring. So those are frozen veggies, and I did not grab those out of my freezer to show you. And then here, this is just actually my protein, so not all that interesting here. We have just, I have some thin flank steak and just some, like a big pack of chicken breast. So I'm gonna bake those up. I'm gonna put this in the fridge real quick. All right, so one of my favorite things to drink is actually Diet Canada Dry. <laughs> I love this. I know soda's not the best for you. I definitely try to drink as much water as I possibly can. We have this really delicious like filtered water in our house that we get, oh my gosh, it's so good. So anyways, I have some good water. I try to push water a lot, but this really helps with my cravings. Canada Dry, I really like that. I do the diet. Now for things that I have in my fridge. I have some muscle eggs. If you guys have not tried this, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. 100% not sponsored, 100% wish I was sponsored because I tried these. I ordered them when I went to Michigan in January and I went through them so fast that I ended up in like a 12 day time frame ordering a whole nother set <laughs> and basically finishing those two. But this is the chocolate flavor. Well, while I'm dieting and just like basically all the time, I never have chocolate milk, um, but that's something that I really love. And this, if you're thinking about the fact that it's egg whites, liquid egg whites, it's gonna maybe gross you out mentally, but like I even, that, so I that's kind of like why I never tried it, but it is absolutely amazing. And it tastes to me just like chocolate milk, 
pour it over ice and it's so much better than just eating regular egg whites. Seriously, trust me. So if you guys wanna try it, I know that they go to like, at the Arnold they were at the expo and I know at the Olympia they're gonna be at the expo. So you can actually go in and they have tons of different flavors. You can actually taste them and try them before you buy it, which is pretty nice. Um, another thing I have is this sugar-free hickory barbecue sauce. I actually saw them at the Arnold Expo and they have new flavors coming out, like a spicy and an orange ginger or something. Really cool because barbecue sauces, like regular barbecue sauces, are no-goes because of how much sugar's in them. This one tastes good too. The hickory is really good. And then, can't tell that I use this a lot. This is a sugar-free... Um, what is this? It's a sugar-free syrup. <laughs> this is a sugar-free syrup and uh, I would pour this on my regular egg whites or just like a lot of different things if I want a little bit of a sweet flavor. It's funny when you start dieting or you're doing competition or whatever, like what you'll put this on and like, <laughs> it's like no shame in my game. It makes it taste really good. This is the Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. Love this stuff. I'm gonna put this on my chicken just great and it's like macro wise really good and then um pickles you guys obsessed with pickles these are the pickle chips for whatever reason different shapes and forms that the pickles come in make it taste better so these are pickle chips i'll do like the big dill pickles like the little baby ones the sliced ones so yeah and it's like kind of my thing it's always been my thing you can have this while you're dieting, totally fine. Kind of helps get that salty craving. And then this is my coffee mate. This is a sugar-free French vanilla creamer. I put this in my coffee with some stevia. I have a really big sweet tooth, so I definitely like to doctor up my coffee and not make it one of those super high calorie coffees. And the last thing, not healthy, but one of my guilty pleasures is Monster, it's the zero calorie Monster. And again, definitely not like healthy. It is zero calories, so it helps me like one with craving, but two, it's like enough energy without making me jittery. And guys, this is the new flavor. What is this, what is this flavor? This is Ultra Paradise. And I was like, okay, I live in Hawaii, how fitting, and I don't know what flavor paradise is, but to me it kind of tasted like a green apple, and I don't know if it's like, because this is green, I was like, ooh, green apple. This is my new favorite monster. So I'm not trying to push monster because it's not good, but guilty pleasure, when I'm waking up early for workouts and things like that or whatever, I just, so I try to be like mostly healthy, and then I have like a little things, and in the realm of bodybuilding and bikini competitions, the name of the game is the zero calorie and being in that caloric deficit so that we can lose body fat to get to those like ultra lean levels. So that's why I kind of always preach about like bodybuilding and bikini competitions are not like your healthy lifestyle, organic, like balanced healthiness, but it's a sport, it's a goal, it's something I'm passionate about. So there are little bits and we try to be as healthy as we possibly can while still having some like normal, like non-healthy stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot more coming up, so if you guys want to subscribe, I would love that. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys have in your fridge, any of your like dieting must-haves or anything like that, because I feel like as a community, we like learn this stuff together, and it's not until usually somebody's like, hey, have you tried this? I'm like, no, I haven't even heard about it. So. Help a sister out. Let me know what you guys love and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys. Survive.